Well, hello, fellow spacefarers. Welcome back to Citizen Bites. I'm Nerion, and this is the show where I navigate the cosmos with you in Star Citizen, so you don't have to. Well, I mean, unless, of course, you're actually wanting to play the game, then in which case, why are you watching this? Well, anyway, I will be breaking down today five mid-tier freight ships that give you the best bang for your buck. So whether you're new to Star Citizen or you're just here for my pitiful commentary with the occasional useful tidbit of information, I've got you covered. So strap in and let's get into it. So, starting off, our first ship is none other than the Freelancer from Misk. Yes, you heard me right, folks. That is the ship that is named after the famous game from Chris Roberts. It's a medium-sized, long-range cargo hauler and is used widely by owner-operators and corporations. This versatile ship can definitely handle both cargo transport and exploration. The Freelancer's modularity and firepower make it a very reliable choice, especially given its origins from a technology-sharing agreement with the Xeon government. With a cargo capacity of 66 SCU, this ship offers an ample space for freight, while also accommodating ground vehicles, maybe like the Dragonfly or Rock. And that is also thanks to its rear ramp. This ship is suitable for solo operation, but can house a crew of four, each with their own bed and access to a kitchenette and bathroom. In terms of weaponry, it features pilot-controlled turrets with size 3 guns and a manned rear turret with size 2 missile racks as well as making it probably a very well armed ship for defending off those pesky pirates. Speaking of pirates, let's move on to our next ship and cover the Drake Cutlass Black, which is a slightly lower cost option, easy to maintain ship aimed at local in-system militia units, though as I stated it is often favoured by less reputable pilots. With its larger than average cargo hold and a focus on versatility, this ship can handle search and rescue operations, cargo transport, and combat with ease. Capable of carrying up to 46 SCU of cargo, the Cutlass also features a ramp side doors, which give you easy access and makes it suitable for carrying ground vehicles such as the Rock or Mule. The crew area does include beds, kitchenette, storage lockers, which provides a surprisingly comfortable living space. Armed with four pilot-controlled size 3 guns, a manned turret with size 3, and extensive missile racks, the Cutlass Black is ready to defend its cargo. Now, when we talk about Cargo Kings, one of the first ships that always comes to my mind is the Argo Raft, or more renowned as the Reinforced Advanced Freight Transport by Argo Astronautics. Yes, that really rolls off the tongue. Which is designed for you more serious cargo haulers. Now it can carry three standardized 32 SCU containers for a total of 96 SCU. With a tough hull, strong shields and a comprehensive countermeasure suite, the raft ensures your cargo stays safe. Now the raft features external cargo containers for rapid transfer, which is a good advantage, a control cab for overseeing cargo operations, and a front docking port for secure access. Its main armament includes a remotely operated turret with size 3 repeaters and optional forward facing size 1 weapons. The crew of two has access to a well equipped habitation area with kitchen, dining table, bathroom, bunk beds that also double as escape pods. The raft's massive cargo capacity definitely makes it an ideal choice for dedicated haulers. Now we come to the C1 Spirit from Crusader. It combines sleek design with versatility. It's ideal for mid-range cargo delivery and carrier work, and offers 64 SCU of cargo space, with a rear-mounted tractor beam making it a reliable everyday ship. Spirit's cargo hold is designed to accommodate small ground vehicles like the Grey Cat Rock or the Tumbrel Cyclone. With a size 3 tractor beam over the rear ramp, it simplifies those cargo transfers for you. Now the ship is also armed with size 3 guns on the wings and nose turret, plus missile racks, which provides a solid defense. The crew area also includes two beds with personal storage, offering comfort for those longer hauls, 
and its sleek design and better cockpit visibility does give it an edge over the Freelancer in terms of style and usability. Next, and finally, we come to the Zeus Mark II CL from Robert Space Industry. Now, I will just rewarn you that this ship is a concept ship currently, but I did want to include it in my suggestions as based on what information we have, it seems like a solid choice. The ship is a cargo vessel that is focused on commerce with a design that honors the classic Zeus, which was one of the first ships with a quantum drive. The 128 SCU of cargo space and a tractor beam, it efficiently handles those large freight volumes. Now, the Zeus does feature a very spacious cargo area. It has size 2 rear tractor beam turret and two size 4 gun hardpoints on the nose. It does also include a bottom turret with size 3 guns and size 4 missile racks. The crew accommodation behind the cockpit offers three beds for those longer cargo runs and its vast cargo capacity does make it probably the best choice for substantial freight. Freight? Freight even. Now, although it may lack the versatility and more encompass of newer designs like the C1 Spirit, it is a really good choice when it comes out. In conclusion, um, for a pure cargo hauling, I would have to recommend the Argo Raft. Um, despite its uh, lower capacity compared to the Zeus, I feel that it does offer the best capacity and efficiency for moving goods with its external storage and fast loading capabilities. However though, if it were me, my personal preference would probably have to be the C1 Spirit. Its sleek design and better cockpit visibility with improved combat capabilities make it a versatile and stylish choice. And for me, compared to my current freelancer DUR, I just feel that I would get more out of it than what I currently am right now with my very limited visibility in the freelancer. Well, there we go. There's five ships that I would personally recommend. Um, and again, that's just uh, my feeling on it. Feel free to share your thoughts. What would be your choice for cargo hauling? Would you be more focused on defense? and maximum capacity of cargo that you can take or perhaps you want something that's a little bit more compact focused as well share your thoughts in the comments don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell because who wouldn't want more of my dulcet tones explaining the finer points of virtual spaceships plus it really helps the channel out and lets me know that at least someone out there is listening hello oh anyway that's it I have once again been a non-professional gamer, feel free to check out any of my other content on the channel, and we will see you very soon. That's a wrap.